What is going on everybody, Mattitude22 here today, bringing you guys another figure review. Today we are looking at the Marvel Legends Sasquatch Build-A-Figure Wave Domino figure. Of course, as always guys, before we look at the figure, let's take a look at the packaging. So, nothing really new here, Build-A-Figure Sasquatch, still using the Deadpool logo up there, Legends series, Deadpool, Marvel's Domino. Pretty cool shot of Domino on the side. I like all the bullet casings. So, pretty decent. It's kind of the same shot on the other side. That's probably the only good part about this figure. Nice shot of the figure on the back. And brief little bio if you want to read this now. If you want if you want to read this now. If you want to read this, pause this video now. If not, then don't. So there's our completed Sasquatch figure. Uh, other figures in the wave, most of which have been reviewed. We got Domino and then Cable coming up. Uh, writing on the back of the box, on the bottom, barcode. Alright, yeah, so that is pretty much it. So with the packaging out of the way, why don't we go ahead and look at the figure. Alright, so looking at Domino here. Not a huge fan of this figure. The face... Okay, sorry about that, guys. So we had a little technical difficulty. All right, so let's get back to the review. So face sculpt, it's, it's a female face sculpt. It's, it's nothing new, nothing original. We've seen it before. I mean, the black, the black lipstick is, or the blue lipstick. Yeah, it's blue. Pretty good. So no real issues with the paint right there. Other than that, I mean, not a super impressive figure. She's basically just on the female body mold. She's got a little harness, but nothing is really painted on it, and it, it doesn't really serve any purpose other than to just look cool. I, I guess it kind of adds a little bit of detail to the figure, but no paint, no functionality, hit and miss. Okay, another thing, the belt, way too big. I understand making it a little bit loose, but this is just way too loose man like look at that I, I, I guess it's so you can maybe fit one of her guns in there if you don't want her to hold them both which we'll talk about that later other problem instead of doing that if that's why they made the belt so loose to fit a gun in there why not just give us a holster because again we got a belt detailed nicely no paint except for the buckle we have no other paint on the belt, so and it's really big, really awkward looking. Getting into the leg, she's got knee pads and shin guards. As, aside from being just silver, not a lot going on there. They look decent, and her boots leave nothing to be desired, just black shoes. Uh, on the back, you can see the boots are, or the, the shin guards are strapped, to, strapped to the her leg, no paint. Again, looks like we got, weirdly, a little dab of silver right there. But no other paint to speak of on the rest of them, so I don't know if that was. And it's not even painted where it's supposed to be, so it should be silver there. But for some reason, we got silver there. Don't know why. Doesn't serve any purpose. <sighs> eh, same thing. Got silver wrist guards, just painted on, and then she weirdly has these these long sleeves don't understand what that's about and pretty much standard black gloves you guys see no detail no can't see really any fingernails or anything like that all right looking at her articulation head moves side to side get forward and back good range of motion on the head it is on a ball peg which is on a neck disc so you get the full range out of that arm moves up to here and that rotates all the way around moves in this far out that far single jointed elbow we're still doing that i know i know I'm not i'm not i'm not gonna rant about it this time don't worry bicep swivel wrist rotation and wrist hinge diaphragm joint moves in every direction imaginable standard female legend hips move out this far kicks this far forward that far back Thigh swivel, double jointed knee. The double jointed knee is actually pretty good. You actually get a decent range of motion on that, so I will give her credit there. 
do like that and same thing with the ankle rockers and the ankle pivot is a little bit stiff but pretty good but yeah the rockers are really good so not anything special about her articulation wise and she doesn't stand the best i, I don't know why all right, let's look at our accessories. So she comes with two guns. These are the ugliest guns I have seen. Okay, not ugly guns, but ugly for her, I guess. They, they These look like they came out of Halo. Like, these look like they're like Halo guns or something. Domino's not really a character from the future, so I don't know why she has purple futuristic looking guns. And why are they purple if you're only going to make them one color? Why, why not just silver? Why not just make them regular gun color? And then she has trigger fingers, but there's no trigger guards. So she holds them like shit. She doesn't even hold them well. Like there's no trigger guard. There's no, so she has a trigger finger, which is good, but get the gun. It, it doesn't stay. There's nothing to hold the gun in place. I mean, she kind of holds this one. All right, I guess, but and then, oh yeah, of course, she has no holster. So you, it's, it's not even like you can just get her holding that one and then call it a day. Because it's not even like you could put this one in a holster. <sighs> all in all, no, I am not a fan of this figure. And I'm disappointed. Oh, whatever, I don't even care. And I'm disappointed because I was really stoked for Domino. Now I, now I lost her ugly purple guns really really stoked for this figure i was really happy to get a new domino but this figure sucks this figure uh, definitely let me down and i am already counting the days until we get a new domino because that is a pile of crap but not gonna rant forever guys it is what it is i mean i'm happy to have a domino that that's the only saving grace is i'm glad i finally have a domino in my collection but other than that shit figure especially sucks because she was so good in deadpool 2 but whatever i'm not going to speak too much more on that like i said the figure not great so that is it thank you again for watching i hope you guys like the video and i'll catch you next time with hopefully a better figure to review I almost said better figure of you but i'm like wait it's not the quality of my video that i don't think is good which i'm not saying trying to be cocky but you, you guys know what i'm talking about anyway have a good day have a great day great night whatever i'll catch you guys next time hey guys matter 222 here i just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching and thank you for all your support guys this channel grows bigger every day and it's all because of you guys i really appreciate it I just want to say, if you like this channel, if you like what you see, make sure you let, show me some love, guys, and hit that subscribe button, because I'm bringing you new videos pretty much every day, and that's the best way to make sure you don't miss anything. Also, like like the videos, share them with your friends, leave me a comment, make sure you tell me uh, what you like about the video, tell me what you like about the figure, just let me know all that stuff, guys, and check out all my social media links, I put them in the description of every video, so if you want to follow me on social media, you can definitely do that. And guys, head over to Facebook and check out the Sanctuary Facebook page. Make sure you come say hey to us there. And make sure you join us every Friday night for the Spaghetti and Friends podcast. And guys, check out all those other channels that are affiliated with that page. And that's going to be it, guys. I hope you like the video. Thank you again. Stay beautiful.